On this morning's Health Watch, your shower might be hitting you with germs. Here once again is our tireless Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Doctor, good morning to Jeff, you. Good morning. Bacteria is obviously all around us and most are not harmful, but in a new study, researchers analyzed the different kinds of germs growing inside shower heads and got some unexpected results. You may think your shower head is clean since water constantly runs through it, but in fact, many are full of germs. The yuck factor is pretty high, obviously, because so many of us are exposed to this. Researchers at the University of Colorado at Boulder examined shower heads taken from nine different cities. They discovered that many contained a form of bacteria that can be dangerous. So 30 to 40 percent of the shower heads had high levels and about 80 percent of the shower heads had detectable levels of mycobacterium avium. Mycobacterium avium isn't considered to be harmful to most people, but researchers say exposure can be risky for anyone with a weakened immune system, including the elderly and some pregnant women. Small amounts of mycobacterium avium are often found in tap water. The danger comes when it builds up in a shower head and then becomes airborne when the shower is turned on. It can certainly cause lung disease and has caused a lot of lung disease in the past few years here in the United States. Dr. Charles Daly treats pulmonary diseases. He says he once traced the source of a bacterial infection back to a patient's home. We detected the same strain of mycobacterium in a patient as we found in their bathroom, including their shower head. Experts say at the moment there's no effective way to prevent bacteria buildup in shower heads and that more research is needed. Most people are not going to get sick from this organism. Uh, we're often asked, should I stop taking showers? Um, and the answer to that today, I think, is really unknown. Now, we don't want to scare anyone, and the researchers who did the study say they still take showers, but some of them change their shower heads once or twice a year, Jeff. Yes, please keep showering right. if, if you could. But, so we should mention some practical advice here. If we're talking about these two shower heads, for example, right. there's, a, there's a metal one and there's a plastic one. Which one's the better? The metal is thought to be safer in reducing the buildup of this biofilm, which is this covering of bacteria, but there are some other things that people can do also. First of all, they should run the water for a couple of minutes before they get in, because that tends to kind of wash out some of these bacteria. They should try to, believe it or not, use one with lower pressure so it's not sprayed all over the shower. And, you know, again, change the heads regularly. Bleach might not completely eliminate this film of bacteria. And again, obviously, we also don't want to advocate using too hot water because that can pose a scalding risk. So, you know, some basic things can help. Some common sense right. and some good advice. Exactly. All right, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you, you very bet, much. Jeff.